maybe you can tell me. <laughs> Talk to me. Yeah, well. mm -hmm. Histori uh, so this was built by Ashkenazis? Yes, historically there were three large self uh, migrations in Shanghai. The first one, Sephardic. They yes. are yeah, originally from Spain mm -hmm. or Portugal. Mm -hmm. But uh, the first immigration was mainly from uh, like Baghdad, Bombay, Singapore, Hong Kong. Ah. Sassoon family. Sassoon family. Ah, right. They're from the Indian ones, yes. Yes. Come, conduct the business in Shanghai. And yes. A lot of buildings, uh, like uh, Peace Hotel, very famous. That's our own group. Ah, so, so it's the Indians and then the Ashkenazi. Singapore. Singapore. Singapore, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. They, are, they are belong to uh, Great Britain. They used to belong to Great, yes. Great Britain. Yes. Was the member of the. Yes. They, so this is the first immigration. And the second immigration was start in like the uh, 1880s. So the Russia, when Russia was created by anti Semitism. Yes. And so. Vacuum programs in Russia, so uh, millions of uh, Ashkenazi Jews go to north part of America, and uh, thousands of people uh, in China, in Shanghai. First, uh, they just moved to Harbin, which is a very important city, famous city in north part of China. Okay. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, great. Yes. And, uh, is this used at all on any special occasions? Uh, uh, is it used at all on any special occasions? Yeah, yes, uh, to be an Orthodox church, uh, Orthodox synagogue. Oh, right, okay. Orthodox. Yes, and Orthodox, they yes. They confirm the traditional. Yes. And uh, when they suggest doing bar mitzvah. Yes, bat mitzvah, bar mitzvah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Gentlemen, boys used to sit on the ground floor. Goes upstairs, upstairs. Yeah. yes, upstairs in the balcony. Mm. That's where I sit. <laughs> yes. And this, uh, uh, especially in the, during the second immigration, the Ashkenazi Jews, first they, they just uh, uh, located in Harbin, and when uh, with the onset of Russo Japanese War in 1904, so they feel their life worsening in Harbin. The in Japan? No, no, in, in north part of China. Oh, north part of China, and yes. In China, the war. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yes. uh, Russia fails on this war. Yes. So, uh, Harbin was controlled by Japanese, so they start to move again from north to south, some of these people, and uh, formed in Shanghai. Okay, mm -hmm. great. And they, uh, they uh, start to form a community, community, communities in Shanghai. In, in in 1907, they uh, organized their own congregations in Shanghai. In 1927, so they built this synagogue to commemoration the early leader of Russian Jews in Shanghai. So they named the Ohio Moshe Synagogue. Yes. The early leader was uh, Moshe Greenberg. So this synagogue, the people called Ohio. Oh, ah, okay. Ah. And you can see the footprint, original footprint. Ah, design this is the original the design on the back wall here. I'll just get through this little bit of table. Wow. And so. This was the engineer. Okay. Gabriel Rabinovich. Gabriel Rabinovich. Yeah. Okay. Also, Ashkenazi Jews. Oh, okay. Yes. Wow. Yeah, and and which is this building? Yeah, we located here. We're located there. Yes. Here. This is okay. used to call Ward Road. Now we call Changyang Road. Okay. Across the street, there's a prison. Built yes. By British. Now it's still a prison. Very ah. famous building in Shanghai. Oh, right. And this area, we call the Tilan Chow. Okay. Tilan Chow. During the during the second immigration, this place was very famous because lots of the immigrations, they has talent, they are techniques, they has their techniques, and uh, they do a lot of small business, or maybe running a, a restaurant or to play a museum. Yeah. The musicians very famous, and the Shanghai local guys very enjoying to taste the, like. 
traditional cuisine from maybe a different culture, yeah, yes. from maybe from Europe, from uh, Russia. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes. okay. So this area is very famous in Shanghai. Great. Wow. And was it ever added onto this building? Was it ever changed? Mm, yes. You know, this building was built in 19, 1927. So, so, so long. The, 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 I, see, I mean, uh, you know, uh, there are another uh, big, like uh, during 1933 to 1941, World War II. Even that, we have a domestic war for several years, four years. Even that period of time was uh, like a, a cultural revolution. Yes. So during that time, even domestic people couldn't uh, feed their family better or struggle for life to take care of their religious. Mm. So uh, this building was uh, rebuilt, renovated. 2007 by local government. Okay. It's a four, four million US dollars for this renovation activities. Yes, four million contributed by the, the so Chinese, the local, Chinese government. Like, local government, mm-hmm. this yes. area. What's the name of the local government? Yeah, just Hong Kong District. Okay. Hong Kong District. Hong Kong. Okay. Okay. Were there any uh, Jews, were there any Jews from Chinese descent? Like the converters? Over became Jewish. Any Chinese that became Jewish? I think is that allowed for Chinese to become Jewish? Yes, as anyone can. You can do a conversion. Well, maybe this for this question, I don't know because yes. I'm only the volunteer here, and a lot of know a little bit the history of these buildings, even the events of Jewish immigrants to Shanghai. Yes. So how how many maybe, maybe how, how many thousands not, would have come? Not too many 100. people. Yeah. Okay. How many um, came immigrated here? How many Jewish? How many? Yeah. Because there's another. How many uh, waves? Three. Three waves. Yes. The, the third waves was during the uh, 1933 to 1945. Yeah. After Hitler's control of Europe. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Many Jewish. Evacuated from Europe to North America, Australia, Argentina, but according to the record, there are 25,000 to 30,000 people in Shanghai. Wow, 25,000 to 30,000 in that wave. Yes. <gasps> That's a lot. As far as I know, I think during that time, there was no place to go. Yes. Because, uh, Almost every cities, every country is close to the door. They didn't want. To they didn't want. Yes, they didn't want. Yes. Shanghai was the only place for visa free. Yeah. Visa free, yes. But uh, with the wars go through, and Shanghai was occupied by Japanese. Because you know, down that time, there were ex power with German. So uh, there's an infamous guy. Named, uh, let's see, uh, his name is. Uh, uh, is was the, he the Japanese chef, guy? No, 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 uh, chef representative of Na- uh, Gestapo Nazi. All right, uh, yes. Massinger, Joseph Massinger. Yes. He offered the Massinger plan to find a solution all the Jewish people living in Shanghai. Yes. But hopefully, they, the Japanese authority. So Joseph Mengler. Uh, Joseph. Uh, they didn't implement the yes. messenger plan. Messenger plan. They just uh, occupied. Uh, they just compromised. They compromised. They set up a ghetto, like a concentration camp, to restrict all the Jewish people who live in this area. All oh, right. So all these surrounding streets that I see here, were they all Jewish at one point in time? Like the side alleyway down there, and yes, yeah, so you can see. I the can buildings, saw the, the uh, They looked. They looked like maybe yeah. Yeah. You can, you can see. yeah. Mm-hmm. This buildings, the style of this buildings, quite different. Yeah, yes. <laughs> So these style yeah, of buildings. These buildings, the style of these buildings, 
quite different yeah. compared to the local buildings. We call this Shikuman, but the style is different. Okay, but the style is different, yeah. Yes. This uh, and were Jewish people living in these ones here? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. With their Chinese neighbors. Yes, with their Chinese neighbors all here, yeah. Wow. And this is all new? Uh, These two buildings are new. The two exhibition are new. But this building is around here. Not. Yes. Uh, and this is, the, this is before the renovation in 2007, is it? Wow. So it's really had a, quite a change. Oh. We <laughs> get married with a local, local guys. Oh. Ah. Has a one daughter, two son. So, so she's the she's the daughter of a local Sephardic. Yes. Okay. Right. And that's her book about it. Is it in English? Uh, not Chinese. Talk Just about how to raise up their child. Or talk about the is she variations between the Jewish style or Chinese style. Is she uh, still religious or not? I, I just read it. Ah. The book. I just read it. Yeah. And the book's new published. Yeah, it's just been published. Wow. And there's the lovely Star of David on the top there. <laughs> is that original or? I think it is. Yeah. And there's a third level upstairs. Yeah. So the, the next level up is for women. What's the third one? The office third, or? The third floor used to be the head office of uh, Beta and Aragon. Okay. You know, two, two groups. Aragon, very famous. And uh, Li Kuda, we call Li Kuda party. The, the president of Jewish, Netanyahu, he belongs to the uh, Li Kuda, we call Li Kuda group. It oh. sounds like Likud. Yes. The Aragon was the original, uh, the Likud originally was the uh, Aragon group. Oh. So the head office was located in the circle. The head office is located up there. Okay. Right. 